Oh, hey, hey, yeah, hey, 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 exciting, exciting, exciting. Hi, everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's Busiest Music Nerd, and it is time for a bit of a rundown of some new music that has just come out. We have been blessed. We have gotten an extension, some extras from one of the best rap projects of the year. That would be JPEG Mafia and Danny Brown's Scaring the Hose. They just dropped a little DLC pack EP with four additional songs, presumably extras that did not make the original album, uh, which again... I hope these guys uh, cross paths creatively again. Of course, I would die to hear another project from these guys at some point in uh, the hopefully near future. In the meantime, it's nice to have these four extra cuts. And uh, yeah, let me give you my thoughts on them. Whole thing starts off with the track, Guess What? We Back Ho, which I mean, you know, for a little DLC pack, some extras, a deluxe is an excellent title to kick off with. The Sandy Cheeks sample right at the forefront of the song already kicks things Things off with pure silliness and uh, the kind of chaos that uh, you most likely enjoyed from the Scaring the Hose record if you listened to it. This cut is actually one of the more clean and, and groovy of this entire collaboration with a lot of glossy and sustained synth chords, danceable beats, some chipmunk soul chops, uh, kind of stowed away very subtly in the background like it's something, uh, you know, of, of a Drake beat. Meanwhile, Danny and Peggy are kind of throwing everything they've got out lyrically on the track. Uh, you know, nothing in terms of like a, a huge dominating banger anthemic chorus or whatever, but uh, still good creative chemistry between these two on the track. Weird beats, weirder bars, and strong flows. While this track may not be like above and away better than anything I heard on Scaring the Hose, it's just as good as the majority of what's there, and I'm glad to hear it. Following this, we have the track Hermanos, which has more of a vintage sound to it, uh, some dusty boom bat beats, uh, vocal samples that um, you know aren't uh, touched up too much. And it's clear the energy of this beat also has Danny and Peggy rapping in a certain way as well, because uh, their flows even seem kind of vintage, especially Peggy as he drops a pretty hard reference to Jay-Z's uh, reminder uh, toward the end of his verse. Plus that beat switch up toward the end with the booming bass and the metallic samples kind of ringing out over that. Love this track even more. It's kind of turning up the heat past the intro. Then things suddenly cool me down on Tell Me Where to Go, which I can see why this one is an extra. Uh, there's not necessarily anything bad on it, but if it did make the record, it would easily be the most low key cut of the bunch, maybe as an overall vibe that may have not been uh, the vibe that Danny and Peggy were hoping to put out on the record. It is titled Scaring the Hose. Uh, again, this track is good, but I don't see it you know, necessarily scaring any hose. But uh, usually I do love a low key Danny track where he is kind of you know rapping without that yelpy inflection and just kind of talking in a normal tone of voice because it does show his versatility and causes you to think more about what he's saying as he spins bars about uh, being avoidant toward pain and heartache. Peggy has an interesting performance on the back end of the song where uh, he's rapping in a slower fashion and seems like he's pitched his voice a little bit, so it kind of feels bigger and deeper. Don't know if that really does anything for me, but it doesn't sound bad. Overall, I think the track could just use a bit more contrast moving from section to section. It does feel a little one note. And then the closing cut, no, 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 no,
this track is that it has a lot of contrast and has a lot of dynamics. Uh, some of the harshest distortion and beats, uh, like really intense saturation on the production with this one, to the point where the rhythms and uh, Danny's rapping just kind of feels like uh, it's bordering on harsh noise. But then after this, there's a calm where Danny is just straight up spitting a cappella. And it's just so, I don't know, uh, relaxing and serene and heady. And there's so many quotables during this point in the track too. Yeah, I think this track could have really been a momentous moment had it made it on the original project. But uh, again, uh, all that being said, a very cool collection of extras here. DLC pack, awesome. Goes to show that even tracks that are, you know, from the cutting room floor, uh, as it were, from Danny and Peggy, are fire. And hopefully this is not the last time uh, that we see these two drop music together. I'm going to leave it there. Those are my thoughts. Hit the comments. Let me know yours. Uh, subscribe if you agree with me and subscribe if you don't. Uh, like if you like. And uh, yeah, over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up as well as the notification bell. Uh, Anthony Fantano, JPEG Mafia, Danny Brown, forever.